Kitsuna is my younger twin sister. We got separated in a forest fire, but we finally found each other again after 10 years. So why is she attacking me? These are the only words I have for you. I am the reason you will die tonight. Setsuna appeared through the sacred tree at the shrine with a girl named Moroha. What? They brought some weird demon along too? Next time on Yashihime, the three princesses. I don't believe it. You have a rainbow pearl too? Setsuna showed up in the present day, but she doesn't remember that I'm her older sister. I don't know you. Come near me and die. You're under a nasty curse. The butterfly that lives in the dream world made its way out to this one, meaning you can't fall asleep ever again. And you can kiss dreams goodbye, too. You're saying my dreams were eaten? Next time on Yashihime, the dream butterfly. I'm sorry. I did this to you. This is all my fault. Moraha comes up with a plan to negotiate with Roothead, to pass through the corridor of time. It's a pretty wild idea. In order for Setsuna to be able to fall asleep and have dreams, we need to find the dream butterfly in the feudal era. But we run into someone in the corridor. Is the Tree of Ages supposed to look like a priestess? Who are you? Next time on Yashihime, the gateway to the past. Welcome, half-demon princesses. I have a request for the daughters of Sushomaru.